Howdy, and welcome to Wildwood, home to the Footlight Theater, where the club's in final rehearsals for Miss Harbor's play, The Conquering Hero. Places, everyone, we're on in five minutes. No lollygargling. Ah, uh, ah, uh, oh, that's lollygagging. Goose, have you seen my crown? You lost your crown? Oh, that's just great. What else could go wrong? Calm down, Goose. I'll find it. Well, then go find it, then. Hurry! Fine. But don't... Slam the prop door. Papa Chuck, the door to the castle is broken again. Did you slam it again? Yeah. It's a prop. It's not a real door. Sorry. Well, I can't get to it till I finish painting these flats. Opening nights in... Well, a week from tonight. Did you hear that, everyone? The door is a flimsy prop. Not real, not built strong enough to slam. Goose, is that a pillow on your head? No. Uh, Goose? Yes, Ned? A beret? You're wearing a beret? All the best stage managers wear berets. Where exactly did you find a beret? Just at a beret store. Uh, let's all get on our places. It does look like a pillow. Fine, I made it out of a pillow, all right. <clears throat> Apparently, all the best mediocre stage managers wear pillows. Let's go, everyone. Three minutes to rehearsal. Shake a leg. Stacy, have you seen our conquering hero? No, Miss Harbor. Well, let's make sure everyone's in their place. Stacy, would you come back here and help oh. me with. Oh. Oh, Mr. Oh. Wright. Heavens, what's the matter? It's... it's nothing. Miss Harbour, I'm... I'm fine. You're anything but. Here. Have a seat. Just relax. Thank... thank you. I'm feeling... much better already. What's the matter? Just the thought of being on stage in front of all those people is enough to set me off, and... it's only rehearsals. Thanks for giving me the chance, but... But I'll have to drop out of the play. No, it's just old-fashioned stage fright. And we're going to beat it. Together. I don't see how. I can teach you some breathing techniques that I learned from Madame Kildare. The famous lioness stage actress. The very same. So the cast took their places, and when all was quiet, rehearsal began. Captain, they're coming! They've surrounded my castle. I am Sir Roth Beaver. Lower the drawbridge and surrender. Who will save us? We're surrounded. We're surrounded. We're surrounded, Captain. We're doomed. I know my lines. I, I just can't say them. Let's keep moving, everyone. He approaches. Secure the drawbridge. You will not be victorious, foul wrath beaver. What? What? Was that my cue? Secure the drawbridge. You will not be victorious, foul wrath beaver. That's what I said. That's not what you said. CJ, stop improvising. Miss Harbor, he's making things up again. I'm sorry I missed my cue, but I can't understand a thing he said. CJ, what's the matter? I just need a minute. I can't work like this. Where's a trailer when you need one? CJ, what's going on? It's my tooth. It hurts. I just need some ice or something. I'll be fine. I, I can do this. You're in so much pain. You can barely speak. No, I can't do it. All right, take five. I need time to think. Five minute break. Don't leave the stage. We are back in five. CJ, what's going on? What's the matter? I've got a bad tooth, okay? I'm talking major pain. Oh, no! This is bad! Marsha, we need cool heads here. 
How long have you had this? A couple of weeks. Weeks? Why didn't you say something? You're kidding. I knew that if Miss Harper found out, she'd send me to the dentist. I can make it till after the play. I'd have a witty response, but I'm not sure what he just said. So are you afraid you'll lose your part in the play, or are you afraid of the dentist? Uh, oh, great, it's both. We have no conquering hero. Okay, so it's both. I really want to do this, and, and the dentist is gonna, gonna, I don't know what. The dentist is gonna what? The dentist is going to go donuts? What? That's what he said, right? I'm not afraid of the dentist. Drilling, scraping, grinding, shots? I'm doomed. If I drop out of the play, I'll ruin it for everyone. This means the end of the play. Ugh. Your only option is to find a toothache remedy, and fast. That's a great idea. Super. Oh, we can all work together on a cure. My grandmother knows a lot of home remedies. Mine too. Thanks, you guys. You're the best. I'm the bed? What? What did he say? Never mind. Hey. You look terrible. I feel worse. Terrible would be an improvement. Well, your problem is solved. I brought the perfect cure, a treasured home remedy of my grandmother's. A jar of dead grass. Herbs. These are herbs. 24 separate ones. Hey, guys. I got licorice, gum, and jawbreakers. CJ, your worries are over. I hold in my hand these surefire toothache bombs. Really? It's my great-grandmother's secret formula. Sorry, Marsha. CJ's gonna try my cure first. Grass? That's your cure? They're herbs. 24 to be exact. <laughs> CJ needs something more aggressive. I've got powdered Gwit it. What is it? It looks like porridge. Everyone knows herbs have healing power. That's a myth. It's a fact. Uh, stop! Oh, oh, that hurt. Just mix them both together now. Stacy, empty your jar into Marsha's bowl and let's see how happy we can make Mr. Tooth. I don't think that's a very good idea. Here, now pack it around your tooth. Here it goes. Mmm, it tastes kind of good. How's the pain? Hey, I think it's working. Don't talk. Let it set for a second. You know, we could sell this stuff at Mr. Peebles' pharmacy. Yeah, the ultimate toothache cure. Marsha and Stacy's Miracle Bomb. <laughs> Why not Stacy and Marsha's? <laughs> what, CJ? I'm stuck. Uh-oh, we may have a problem here. I can't open my mouth. Marsha, look at the bowl. Our tooth bomb has turned hard as a rock. I think we made cement. Cement? We've glued CJ's jaw together. Look what your porridge stuff did. My stuff? It wasn't my stuff. Knock it off. Why is this all happening to me? A very good morning to you, Papa Chuck. <laughs> well, good morning, Mr. Wright. You seem pretty chipper today. I've fantastic news. I'm a new man. Really? My struggle with stage fright is over. You're kidding. No more anxiety, no more panic attacks or sweaty palms. I'm telling you, I'm a changed man. How did you do it? Madam Kildare's controlled breathing technique. Ha. <sighs> Ha! <sighs> ha! <sighs> 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 
By applying it, I can lower my heart rate, blood pressure, and fear of audiences. Well, glad to hear it. I've got some good news myself. What's that? The conquering hero is sold out. Can you believe it? <laughs> sold out? You'll be performing in front of a packed house. P -p packed <laughs> Uh, I think it's the first sellout in the history of the Footlight Theater. Oh. Mr. Wright, are you okay? T must breathe. Uh. Oh boy, Miss Harbor. Okay, we got swelling of the gum, we got redness, we got tooth discoloration. Oh, we got a weasel who's a, uh, about to gag. Goose! Okay, I found it. Well, what's the diagnosis? Oh, did you read that? Boy, look at the time. I better be running along. Stacy, what did you find? You know, sometimes knowledge can be highly overrated. I think ignorance is the way to go here. Stacy, what? Your tooth is inflamed. Worse, it's infected. Worse still, you'll have to see the dentist. Okay, I can handle this. No need to panic. So, uh, what are we talking here? Small cavity, tiny filling? It looks like Dr. Cook may have to... I'm so sorry, CJ. Dr. Cook may have to pull your tooth. No. N no, he can't. No dentist. I'm sorry, CJ, but you have to go. I'm fine. CJ! Lucky what we have here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, indeed. We've been searching for someone to beat up all day. Right, Maine? Oh, indeed, Motley. Whenever Hugh goes out of town, it's up to us to be the tough guys. Yep, especially when it's CJ. Hugh will buy us both ice cream for beating him up. Let's get him! Please don't. I've had a really bad day. Am I too first? What did he say? Something about root beer shirts? No, I don't think that's it. CJ, why are you talking so funny? I said my tooth hurts. Oh, his tooth hurts. I once had a tooth that hurt. Man, it was great. You know, when something hurts, but you touch it anyway, because the pain actually feels good. Well, I kept wiggling and wiggling and wiggling my tooth until it started to get really red. And, and I, I couldn't stand it anymore. So I opened his mouth, put a piece of string on the tooth, and yanked real hard. Hey, I could do the same for you, CJ. Uh, th th that's okay. Anyway, CJ, the moral of the story is you have to face your fears. What are you talking about? What does that story have to do with facing your fears? You have to read between the lines, Motley. Oh, I'll read between your lines, all right. Face my fears? Is that what you want me to learn from this, Lord? Is that why this is happening to me? Who are you talking to, CJ? Thanks for the advice, Mange. I know what God wants me to do now. Oh, and I stole that tooth from under your pillow, too! <laughs> and all this time, you made me think that the Tooth Fairy left me a banana peel. <laughs> hey, Papa Chuck, got a minute? Sure. What's with your mouth? Bad tooth. I'm going to the dentist and have to tell Miss Harbert I'm dropping out of the play. Dropping out? Does it hurt that bad? Yes, sir. I thought the pain would go away, but it's gotten worse. I wanted to be in the play so bad and... And you're scared of the dentist? Yes, scared. 
scared a lot. Some conquering hero. Look, I don't particularly like going to the dentist myself. Even had a tooth pulled once. You did? Sure. I know what you're going through. Part of growing up is learning to face things you don't want to face. If you hadn't kept this all a secret, Dr. Cook would have probably taken care of it pretty quick, and it'd be all over by now. I know. You know, CJ, even heroes get scared. Name one. Oh, Moses, Joshua, Elijah, all the great ones were scared silly at times. God told Joshua over and over, do not be afraid. So how do you just stop being afraid? I truly don't think you can, son. Oh, great. <laughs> not by yourself. The best way to face your fears is to turn them over to Jesus. Pray, tell him what you're afraid of, and let him carry the load. He'll be right there with you. Okay, Lord, I'm afraid of the scraping and the drilling and the pulling, but thank you for being with me, and I pray that you'll take my fears and carry them for me. Well, hello, CJ. Mr. Wright, what are you doing here? Fixing teeth. We dentists are good at that, you know. But I didn't know you were a dentist. Have been for 37 years. Retired a few years back. I help out Dr. Cook now and again. Where is Dr. Cook? On vacation. But... Open wide now. Mm. That's it. I'm afraid I've got some very bad news. Mm. I have to drop out of the play. Uh-huh. Yeah, I, I just can't beat this stage fright thing. Tried every cure. Nothing works. Mm -hmm. Fear is a funny thing, isn't it? Uh -huh. Oh well, guess I'll just have to live with it. Okay, all done. Now that wasn't so bad, was it? You're done? You're not gonna pull my tooth? No. Looks like a piece of popcorn shell was wedged between your teeth. What? Your tooth is fine. You mean, I was afraid all this time for nothing? I can't believe it. Believe it. I wish the solution to my problem were so simple. Maybe it is. What do you mean? Well, you said it's your problem, and maybe that's the problem. I don't follow. Maybe you should try giving your fears away, to Jesus, like I did. You gave your fears to Jesus? How did you do that? I'm kind of new at this, but I prayed. Told him why I was afraid, and he helped me. Well, I'll have to give it some thought, CJ. Well, opening night came sooner than anyone could have guessed. And, well, despite all of their rehearsing and preparing, everyone was more than a little... Oh, boy. Nervous. Too nervous. I'm scared. I'm not going to make it. Do you hear all those people out there? I can't remember any of my lines. Now, don't hit your head on... Oh, think. Think! Ow! Oh, my head! What's with the door? It's supposed to be a flimsy prop door. Papa Chuck kind of beefed it up so it wouldn't break again. That's just great. Does anybody tell Ned? No. Come on, guys. Mr. Wright, everyone, I'm really scared, too. Maybe we should have a quick prayer. Good idea. I think we should. Go, CJ. Dear Lord, we really need you now. The theater is full of people. Oh. And we need your strength and... And peace. And peace. Help us all remember our lines, and thanks for being with us all the time. In Jesus' name... Amen! Amen. 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 Thank you, CJ. Places. Places, everyone. We're on. Well, the play was a huge success. Wonderful. Good job. Lovely. Way to go, everyone. They loved it. How was I? You make a fine hero, CJ. I second that. Thanks. Do you hear that applause? We're a hit. Mr. Wright. You did it. With my knees knocking and a lot of prayer. Say, I've got a couple requests. First, I've got some questions about God. Papa Chuck, I'm wondering if you've got some time to talk them over. Yes, I do. My second request is for you, Miss Harbour, regarding your next play. Yes? How about a bigger part? 
<laughs> I think we might be able to work something out. Good for you. Curtain call, everyone. Hurry now. Places. Places. <laughs>